Hey everyone, it's Cupquake, and today I am using a texture pack. This is called Eld Pack. I just decided to use one because I haven't used a texture pack in a while for... for uh, lost my train of thought. <laughs> it is um, pretty late right now, and I just can't sleep, and I decided to look up um, some information about... Uh, enchanting and I did not know anything let me first off show you guys what I what I did here oh hey puppy you scared me I made some changes I finally made the door over to my barn over here put some more books here and I made this room I expanded it, it used to just end and cut off right here but um oh and I fixed the roof fix the roof. I, I went to work. Um, so yeah, I didn't know that for enchanting, you need an actual enchanting room. Um, so I thought that today I would go ahead and build it and I'm going to need, I'm going to need a lot of stuff. Um, actually I think I have enough materials for enough bookshelves but where should I build this room no idea should I build it this way I think I should build it like this way I mean I'm gonna have to take down that picture um I have a lot of bookshelves here too let's go ahead and build like a a tight little room here I'm gonna take this picture down and we are just gonna chill today. We really don't have a topic to talk about. I'm I'm starting to get sick, if you haven't noticed. But I there is so much stuff that I did not know about this game, or that they actually um, did. I mean, updated. I haven't checked any of the updates. At after 1.9 so or 1.8 actually was the last update I was at I was really on top of so I am I feel like a noob <laughs> I feel like such a noob at the game now there's so much more stuff I had no idea was this crazy which is really exciting because um it kind of gets me back into it let's get some torches I have to clean out my inventory um it's kind of giving me that drive again this is going to be our book room so our enchanting room I really don't know how big I'm supposed to oh great how big I'm supposed to make this I think that is our last one poopies well we're gonna go down and make some books because I'm gonna have to you know what I I don't even have obsidian and I don't even have diamond for the actual enchanting book but or the the workbench thing um but I'm just gonna prepare I'm just prepping so I, I'm still not used to this texture pack so we need sugar cane and I'm gonna get rid of this and I want to get I have books I have bookshelves I think what we need is some wood let's put the sweet back we'll put the bread back just for room in our inventory I don't think I need more for now. I'm gonna just throw away these this stuff. And I'll put the coal inside here and there. I don't need rotten flesh. Okay. I don't need seeds either. <laughs> I'm so disorganized for this. I just got up out of bed after trying to sleep and just decided to record. So I am going to make paper. And with that paper, okay, with the paper, I'm going to make books. I don't even know how many I'm going to need. We're going to make this whole room full of books. And then I will make all of these. We're just going to put 64. I don't even think I have enough for 64 in each thing. We'll do that. I don't, we don't have that many books, so bookshelves 15 we're just gonna make this room crazy library 
style here. Okay. 19 bookshelves. I hope that's enough. Um, I'm gonna go make a pickaxe. Oh, and I started to expand this room a little. Because I need more storage. So we have an ender pearl. I need... I'll just make... Actually, I'll make an iron one because I have plenty of iron now. So we will do that. Make a couple iron pickaxes. So, pickaxe. Pickaxe. Alright. Let's put this back. I think. Oh, that's a hoe. <laughs> it looks different. This texture pack I'm not I am not used to. Okay, so here is our little enchanting room. It seems it's kind of creepy. <laughs> it's our little hidden library. Um I think I'll probably have to make this a little deeper. The way it works is I'm supposed to put this um, enchanting work bench, enchanting bench, in the middle of the room. So the bench will, or the, I think we need to go one more. Oh no! Dang. Went too far. We, we could just go this way then. Extend it this way. We find solutions. Okay. So I think that'll be enough. I'll fix that after. Let's put down some torches. Oh, no, there. Let's put down a torch to light this room up. Um, nom, nom, nom. I want to make it higher. Just because I want to have a cool chandelier in here. Because I don't like the torches on the wall. We're gonna we're gonna put books in place of that. So. I guess this could kind of be a enchanting room 101. <laughs> this is like the really newbie stuff. Um, I have not enchanted. I think today I used my very first potion and that was from a Minecraft, a custom map. So I didn't even create it. And I was like, what is that sound? What is making that noise? What is this? Such a noob pretty awesome though it's making me kind of wonder what else is going to be added to the game actually when I was um, making upgrades on uh, my house what if I make a I don't know if I could do that a glass roof here when I was making upgrades on my house okay so the thing is gonna go here yes that'll be perfect so we're gonna put down a dummy the dummy thing right now so right and then we could put a bookshelf you think that's enough yeah we need a place to enter okay uh let's start putting down some bookshelves so we'll do it like this and this is how it's supposed to look right I hope I'm right. I hope we have enough book power from this. Okay, so we're gonna just build it really high. Actually, I need to go build some more bookshelves. I guess I will need the rest of that sugar cane. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought today. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna build. Actually, we'll get the sugar cane. And we'll make books, books, and more. Oh, those aren't books yet. This is paper, which is weird because paper is made, not made out of sugar cane. What ifs? All right, book, book, and book, and perfect. So. Go ahead and lay all these down. There we go. And spread this out. We're just making a ton of books. Good thing I have a lot of sugarcane. I think we actually might need more books than that. We're gonna go book crazy. Book crazy. I'm gonna have to go collect some more sugarcane too. We will have to farm that, and I should have done that. Actually, I'm gonna go sleep in my bed. 
I'm gonna go sleep in my bed and then we'll go mine our sugar cane. It's not even fully grown. Well, let's go sleep anyways. And I moved my bed too, because I was when I was sleeping it, I'd get placed behind it. Ah, yes, placed in front of it. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's just go ahead and put the bookshelves that we have. Let's put them here. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Alright. Here we go. Let's get rid of this. And we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna go ahead and put some light on the top right here. I am just going to oh cool, I have a fence. Sweet. Put it right in the middle. There. And then I'll put down wood. And we still need to go to the freaking nether, and I have not found one diamond, so yeah. We'll need to do that. I'm gonna just cover that for now. Okay. More books. I think we still have paper and stuff. But that is the basic room for the enchanting stuff. I guess maybe I could just I'm not I'm not even tired at all. I guess maybe I can go try search for some more diamonds. We can do that. Or some diamonds. I don't even have any diamonds. Really need to find some. So I think what I'm gonna do is after I finish this, um I'm gonna go I'm gonna go mining. So I'm going to go empty my empty my stuff. Oh look I have books in here already. We'll empty this out. Keep some wood with us. We need torches. I guess we'll keep the axe and we might need more pickaxes. And we're gonna need another sword. Do, 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 do. Let's take this. We'll put the wood away for now and sand. And a painting and glass. <laughs> and we'll put that wood away too. Okay. We are we are ready almost. Let's make not a shovel, we need a sword. And some more pickaxes. And I guess I can make a cobblestone pickaxe just for the lulls. Here we go. Cool. And I don't need a bucket. I don't know why I have a bucket in there. Okie dokies. We are ready. I've been collecting some sheep wool, by the way, too. Okay. I want to go mining. I guess we can, since we're really close to the house, we'll just go this way. So I'll probably cut up this video. Um, I'm sorry that if I'm only doing mining, I really, really, really need some diamond. It's very, very, very important that I get some. But I will probably cut this up. Um cut the boring parts out for you guys. I think we need to go deeper. Or we could try and dig around the lava. We can like just dig this area out, see what we find. We'll find another cave. I don't want to fall in lava though. <laughs> Let's not do that. We'll go this way. Oh, and there's obsidian, but we can't get that yet. Alright. We're gonna go this way. I'm mining again on a little mining adventure. Well, I'm going back up. We shouldn't be going up. Let's, from this point, since this is pretty, pretty deep, what we'll do is from here, we're going to keep going down. Okay. So from here... We will start digging down. Not too deep though. I don't want to hit. Um, I don't want to hit bedrock, but I know that the diamond's supposed to spawn closer to the bedrock. 
I need to move these torches closer. There. Okay. So, I will probably cut this out for you guys so you don't have to watch me. Is that... Is that bedrock? I can't tell. You know what it is? We already hit bedrock. Wow. Okay. Well, what I'm going to start doing then is just dig... You know what? I have a feeling because there's lava. Since there is lava right here, we should be able to find diamond around here. So I'm going to dig. I'm going to. What is that noise? You know what? I need to put sound a little higher. Alright. So I'm going to just dig around this lava and hopefully find some diamond. So let's have a little conversation. What is going on with me nowadays? What is, what is going on with Cockquake? Cockquake, Cockquake. Um, <laughs> I may sound like I'm going a little insane. I really, really want this diamond. But um, in recent, in recent years, no. <laughs> Um, Red and I have been looking for a place to call our home, and um, it's both going to be our first time moving out, and um, we found this place. It's a loft. Um, it's a three-story loft, so it's really cool. Like, when you first go in, uh, you're on the second floor. Then uh, above is another floor, and below is like a it's another floor, but it's it's underground. It's so cool. Um, I should put this on this side. Let's do it like that. But um, I thought it'd be really cool. I'm totally excited to have a game room because I spend probably like. I want to say 12 plus hours a day in my room and it's weird that I uh, say this because I've uh, I watched this video I think it was like on YouTube or something it was like facts a facts channel or something but they were saying that there is this disease and I guess it's really common actually my butt hurts from sitting Sorry, just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> it's this disease. I don't know. I don't. I forgot the, the name. Things like Harker. I don't. I don't know. I'm not even gonna try. But uh, there's people who have this disease. I guess it's really common in Japan and in males. They spend. It's like around twenty something hours a day in their room and they do not go outside to the outside world and they just do everything in their room everything sometimes I feel like that <laughs> even though I'm not like I'm not you know I have to be in my room I like going outdoors um, I've hit bedrock I really feel like there's supposed to be diamond around here somewhere like there's this feeling I have. It's hiding. It's hiding. Is it behind this block? Behind this block? This one? Maybe this one. Definitely will be behind. No? Okay. Um, but I realized that I spend most of my days, um, except for the weekends. The weekends I'm like out and about. I cannot wait for Fridays to come around just because I get to go out. I just don't like to be in indoors. I really like to go out, socialize with friends, uh, go have some drinks, go do something. Um, but during the week, I probably spend, I, I wake up, it doesn't even matter what time I wake up because when I'm sleeping, I'm in my room. And, um, I wake up like around noon. It's it's 3.30 a.m. right now, so I'm still wide awake. 
usually don't go to bed till four or five. Um, and then when I wake up, 12, I'm in my room till probably about seven. And then that's when Red comes over and I spend some time with him. I'll also spend some time with my parents like in between when they come home around four-ish. I come out and you know, talk with my parents and sometimes around five I'll even watch I'll even watch TV with them. I'll come out of my cave. I feel like such a hobbit. I haven't I didn't realize that I've spent so much time in my room just sometimes I won't even be working. I mean, okay, if I'm not making YouTube videos, then I'm painting, which is in my room because uh, my computer's in my room. And if I'm not painting, then I'm working on my animation. That's in the garage, which is cool. It's cool. Um, oh, man. Last one. And if I'm not doing that, I'm usually, like, out shopping. Like, I just feel like tomorrow I need to go shopping. I get this urge. Like, I need to go spend money and treat myself. <laughs> I need to go buy clothes treat myself to clothes because I never do and when I go shopping I like to shop alone I just like to get what I want and not have to worry about anybody else I don't know if I don't know if that's selfish but um, yeah I kind of want to start to not spend so much time in my room even though it's like work and stuff Th that's why I can't wait for a um, a game room or an office where I can have my computer um, and not have to sleep in the same room and try and enjoy life in the same room where I work most of the time. Yeah, I, I can't wait for a game room and we in Red are super excited for it. We're, we're like picking out what kind of screens we're going to have, how many screens the computers are going to have, how many computers we're going to have, how many Xboxes we're going to have, how many TVs we're going to have. And we've been thinking of putting like insulation. Oh shoot, I need... I can make one. We're even thinking of having like uh, insul insulation in the room so... Um, like it'll absorb some of the sound um, because I, I definitely do not want to be waking up red at four o'clock in the morning <laughs> recording a Minecraft video. <laughs> uh, shoot, I didn't bring any iron with me. Oh wait, I have some and I have some coal too. We can make a... I need to sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Bless you. Okay, we're going to make a furnace to either coal. We're just putting it like in the middle of the room here. All right. Where's my iron? Or oh, here it is. There we go. Um, but yeah, we're even thinking of how we're going to decorate it. Um, I think what we're going to do is, because uh, my dad actually is a he was a pressman for a big majority of his life and then he became an ink salesman so he still deals with um, like people who print um, like posters and stuff and um, he our garage is full of posters like movie posters but we thought it'd be a cool thing to have gaming posters all around the room like framed really nicely and um so i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put some gaming posters maybe i'll even do some gaming paintings and i just totally cannot wait i mean i've been building my own little house <clears throat> my own little life in minecraft the way i like it the way i picture things but it's really cool to um Go out in the real world and do stuff, um, and you don't have to do it in a video game. It's really cool, and I'm excited. So is Red. We're both really excited, and I will be sure to show you guys this awesome game room 
when it does happen and probably will be soon we're at the end of january <clears throat> um red was we were planning on moving out he was planning on moving out um february or march and then i was gonna slowly move my stuff in um and then once the wedding comes around i was gonna totally move in after the wedding or maybe a couple weeks before i'm not quite sure yet about that Seriously, where is this diamond? Let's dig still let's dig near the lava. Actually let me get this and make an iron pickaxe. We'll make two of them. I'm gonna run out of space here. Okay. <clears throat> what was I talking about? <laughs> I do that a lot. I tend to lose my little train of thought. What I want to do is let's go back to when we were digging over here and let's... Did I just make a full circle when I did this? I thought I started to, to go down. What the heck? Am I losing my mind? I seriously thought I built some stairs going down. Was it this way? I think it was this way. Okay. We're gonna turn this. And we're gonna try and, like, dig near the lava. Okay. Um. But, yeah. Um. It's gonna happen really soon. And we've been look Or, Red has been looking every single day for a place. Um. I thought we were not thinking of getting a house as of yet because it's really pricey but we are looking into apartments and condos and lofts and rent to own stuff but uh LA is expensive it's very expensive so uh, I know that we could do it together but we would probably have to cut down on going out and doing fun leisurely stuff which I'm okay with I'm cool with Netflix I love Netflix. Um, and especially if we have our own place, I totally want to have a bunch of people over. <laughs> Just to hang out, especially if we have a really cool game room, we could have people bring over like their laptops or something. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be like every freaking person, every freaking person who plays video games dream. And it will be mine. How freaking unlucky am I to not find any diamond. This is not cool. I don't like the way it looks when it's dark over here, so... <sighs> Jeebus, where the... Where in the world is the diamond? Jeebus. <gasps> we found it. We found diamond oh my god okay <gasps> two diamond <gasps> I'm so happy oh my god three yes three diamond oh my god that took forever maybe there's some more around here I doubt it but I am happy with three diamonds for now. Um, wow. Uh, you guys do not freaking understand how long I've been digging. <laughs> I kind of just turned off. Oh, look. Did we find something? Lava. Ooh. Lava. Ooh, if we would have dug that. Jeez. Okay, well... We did find the diamond around lava. It was right here, so maybe that's where we need to start searching. Just near lava. I really don't want to die right now, so I think it's safe to say I'm scared. <laughs> Alright, let's just check over here. 
I don't want to dig anything. I just want to check if there's any visible diamond for me. We have one. Okay, there's nothing this way. Let's go check over here. My gosh, I don't even know how long I was digging, but it felt like an eternity. Okay, we're not even going to go over there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have my precious diamond with me. We're going home. Alright guys, look how long this tunnel is. <laughs> Wait a minute, I want to run. Run! Okay. Am I still running? This tunnel is just insanely long. But I have come out victorious. We have three diamonds. I can make an enchanting table with that, but I still don't. I still. You know what? I can get obsidian now. Hmm. Can make a pickaxe. We can make obsidian. Or find obsidian and mine it. I'm happy now. That's all I wanted. Still, look how long that tunnel was. And not <laughs> one diamond in sight. Alright. I am going to make my first diamond pickaxe. Check it out. Perfect. Diamond pickaxe. 